Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat, and today I am doing a book haul! Yay! So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get right on into it. As you guys know, I'm gonna be moving at the end of the year to Australia, so I'm not really buying many books these days. The only books I have are from my lovely aunt in America who sends me books that she likes and has read so that I can read them and then we can talk about them because she's awesome. And I bought one book for myself yesterday because I wanted to get this before we leave Japan. So let's get into it. So the first book in my haul is The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kidd. That was sent to me by my aunt. And in shipping Japanese customs totally, when they open the box to check for like food or bombs. They totally put the page like this in there and I was like, ah! my god, like who are you? <laughs> Definitely not um, a part of the bookish community. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, crease or no crease, the cover's amazing. Um, I have heard of this book before, but I've never read it, obviously. It's an Oprah's Book Club 2.0 pick. It is inspired in part by the historical fiction of abolitionist and suffragette Sarah Grimpk. And I believe her name is Handful, and Handful is a character that I have heard a lot about. Um, during the time of Black History Month, I was recommended this book, so I'm glad that I will finally get a chance to read it, even though it's like later in the year, but every time is a good time to educate yourself. Next up is Only Child by Rhiannon Navin, and I'm really sorry for everyone that's like, why didn't you peel that? Um, I'm lazy. I don't usually peel them. Because then they get like the weird, like, sometimes they leave like the residues, so you should just leave the sticker if you think that's going to happen. Anyway, um, this is a school shooting novel following a young boy named Zach who is hiding in a closet when there's a school shooter. Now, I don't normally read school shooter novels just because I find the whole prospect horribly depressing considering America's total lack of, um, like, gun law and controls. Um, for instance, there was a school shooting in Australia, and then you know what they did in Australia? They banned guns. All guns. There's no guns for the public. Like, yes, there are exceptions for, like, hunting hunting and non-automatic weapons and the military, but, like, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, they definitely changed it and got rid of it. So, normally I don't read school shooting novels just because horribly depressing, enough of it in reality, but... My aunt said this was really good, so if I do end up picking it up, it will be a great one for her and I to discuss, essentially since, especially since she is still in America and I am very much not in America and not planning to go back. So yes, we shall see. Now the next two books are ones that I specifically requested from my aunt. When she read them, I was like, oh yes, I have been dying to read them. And the next one here is Rainbirds by Clarissa Gionawin. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. I believe she's from Singapore. I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe she's from Singapore. So in this one, we are following uh, Ren, who is studying at a university outside Tokyo, when his sister dies, and he travels back to his small hometown to figure out how she died, why she died, and if there are any mm, lingering circumstances that he feels are not correct. And my aunt had mixed feelings about this book, but she knew that I really wanted to read it, so she sent it to me, and hopefully I will have a lot to say about it. And I live for this cover, and I, I also wanted to read someone from a country I've never read before. I've never read from Singapore, so I'm really interested to get to this. I've also seen it floating around, so I'm interested to see if what I think will stand up to what everyone else in BookTube has thought. If you guys are one of the ones that has read this, please let me know what you thought about it. Um, I can't wait to get to it, but right now I can't decide if I want to read this one more or... Dun, 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 Educated by Tara Westover. I've been dying to read this. I, I know that I'm gonna really like it probably because it's about a girl who's raised by a family. They don't believe in like vaccination and like public schooling and basically she's off the grid and just kind of off of reality like away from society for the majority of her childhood. And then when she grows up, she decides she's going to go to university, and I believe she goes to Harvard? No, she goes to Brigham Young University, and then she eventually goes to Harvard and Cambridge. So this is a true account, and I love it when I see someone who um, like struggles and they make it and then they write a book and I can read about it and be like, yeah, vicarious living and empowerment and get it, yes. So I can't wait to read this. I, I'm torn between this one 
and this one. If you guys have any opinion about which one I should read first, let me know because your girl is so excited. Yeah, I'm just so freaking jazzed. Alrighty, now we have got to the final book and I just picked it up yesterday and I'm so proud of myself because I've been dying to get this book. So, it's a coffee table book basically where the pictures are stunning and it's one of my favorite subjects of all time. So, this is the Nudebrank book. So if you don't know what a Nudebrank is, first off, it's spelled N-U-D-I-B-R-A-N-C-H. It is not Nudebranch. Please don't say Nudebranch. Anyway, it's Nudebrank. And I have a marine biology degree, and I actually did undergraduate research on Nudebranchs. So I love them. And I've done a lot of diving around the world, and some of the best diving I've done was in Thailand on a specific nudie dive where we spent a long time looking at the very tiny microfauna because they're, they're anywhere from like this small to like this big, so which is also small. So I'm really interested in them. And these are so, so cute. Japanese uh, society really, really likes the small details of things. So nudibranchs, they're like, oh my god, yes. Because all of them are just so detailed and so lovely. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few more photos because you're probably like, yeah, that's amazing. Like, look at these stunning creatures. Like, oh, also, the naked book is amazing. Is this not so cool? Like, oh my god, I'm so happy I got this book. I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite ones, though. My husband actually bought me a necklace of this one just because it's so, so cool. So, this is Glaucus Atlanticus. I don't know if you can see it. It kind of looks like a rad ass Pokemon. But the cool thing about this one is that it actually floats on the surface because it's like feathered serratas are so spread out that the surface tension doesn't break. So they float on the surface of waves and they pick up poisonous jellyfish, ingest them, and then their poison goes into these feather like things called serratas. So when predators try to eat them, they get the poison of this animal but the animal itself is not actually poisonous, if that makes sense. Like, it steals poison. Isn't that just cool? Isn't that the coolest? So, I can't, oh my god. I just love this book so much, and I actually find them adorable. Another one of my favorites is, I think it's called like Sheep Face or Sheep Head, because it just looks like an adorable, like, radioactive little green sheep. Like, is that not the cutest little animal you have ever seen? Like, what is life? What are nudibranchs? They're so freaking cute, and I'm so glad I got this book. Like, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So, yeah, that finishes up the haul. I'm super psyched. Um, if you guys saw any books you liked or that you read and would like let me know what you thought of it, please do let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. That would be amazing. I have a ton of unhaul videos that are uploading. I'm doing a series now because I'm going to Australia at the end of the year with my husband, my two rescue dogs, and a shit ton of books. But I can't take all my books, so that's why I'm getting rid of a bunch. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having the loveliest of days. And without further ado, I'm going to say toodles for now. Bye!